Before we get into the meat and potatoes of this video, let me just say that I started offering one-on-one -on -one online tutorials in my Patreon. If you want to level up your painting, join now, the link is in the description. And with the shilling out of the way, back to the shilling. Hello, fellow Hordes of the Blue, and welcome to my channel. I love this holder. I think you should go and buy it right now. In fact, I will leave a link in the description for that. But I always thought that it had a flaw. Despite having interchangeable tops, which is brilliant, they are all the same size and painting larger base minis with it is a bit cumbersome. Uh, you are always hitting the rim with your fingers, leaving grease all over the edges. It's even worse if you are old school gamer like me and use square bases. One day I decided to put my engineering study to good use and fix it, thanks to the magic of 3D printing. Let's check it out. Ah, uh, this mat is getting suitably filthy with time. Much better now. I was a bit distressed with it when it came brand new, all shiny and grey. Now, now we're talking. But we are not here to talk about this lovely mat. We are here to talk about this holder. Specifically, we're here to talk about the add-ons that I designed for it. But before we get to those, let me explain you why I think this is the best holder in the market right now. First of all, this shape is fantastic. It's just so comfortable in my hand. You can turn it. It's a very nice, a smooth action with just the right amount of resistance. And it also has a very convenient magnetic hold. Let me just show it to you better. Look at this magnetic action. It's fantastic. It comes with two different types of putty. Uh, I think it is depending on where you live. We have this uh, orange putty, which was the original. And we now have this gray putty, at least here in Spain and in Europe, I think. I'm not sure how that works. But well, both of them are awesome. So whatever, they work fantastically well. The main issue I have with this holder is for larger models they kind of just you see protrude from the holder and yet you can hold them pretty well but it's not the same and i hate to just keep rubbing my fingers against the edge or accidentally and this happens quite a lot knocking them out these are the adapters that i designed they come in different shapes and sizes to fit basically anything that this holder can hold or should be able to hold if you want like super large models i don't think this is the ideal solution anyway this is as large as i dare go we have a 40 millimeters round a 40 millimeter square for you old timers like me 50 millimeter square warhammer fantasy cavalry size is 25 by 50 we have a 30 millimeter square, square but it's a bit of a pain because you just, even if they fit in, there is always a corner sticking out, not pleasant. So this is really handy. We have a Nature Sigmar Cavalry base, one of the most uncomfortable bases to hold in this holder, and a 50 millimeter round. They swap in and out very easily. I designed them with this indentation so you can turn them on so, so easily. It just gets onto your finger. Very easy to turn them, even in the square ones. Just like that. Look at that. That's it, really. Uh, this is all there is to this. Uh, we have an amazing holder. And now we have all of the adapters you will ever need for it. So if you like them, well, they're very easy to get. They just cost four euros for the whole set and you will be able to print however many you want, whenever you want them. Of course, you will need a printer for this. I highly recommend FDM. I did them in PLA. They are very strong and they should be super easy to print in this orientation. They are designed to be printed like this. No overhangs, no anything. Any printer should be able to print these very easily. And that's it, really. There's nothing more to it. I really hope you like them. I really hope you buy them. You will be helping me quite a lot. Thank you very much for sitting through all this outrageous shilling. And now let's go back to more shilling, but this time with my face on it. 
So if you have one of these amazing holders and want to make it even better, or you thought it lacked flexibility and was hesitant to buy it, check my Etsy store and buy the new adapters and you won't regret it. Just to be safe here, this is a digital product. You will need an FDM 3D printer or access to someone that has one to use them. You've been warned. If you like my videos and want to help me make them, you can follow me on social media. You have the links to all my social media in the description below and the pinned comment of this video. Share and like this video, but most importantly, there is Patreon and channel members. Patreons and members allow me to do all the cool videos that I want to make. And most importantly, they allow me to release them all for free here on YouTube. Perks include access to an amazing Discord community full of lovely people, early access to some of the videos, and also private one-on-one -on -one tutorings. At the time of the release of this video, there are still lots available in both tiers, 45 minutes and three hours a month. They are filling fast, so if you want to have a private tutoring with me, don't hesitate and join now. Help me and my family and join the list of the coolest persons in the planet, including Eudon, Giovanni Constanza, Jason, Martin Pasco, Alejandro Maldonado Fuentes, Elios Savic, Tyrannosaur Terry Denham, Hobart Holdville, Robert Smith, Chris Goldenthal, Carlos Rivera, Thomas Ustergaard, Javi Mota, Christoph Moret, Michael Boyer, Mick Tomen, Nicolas Furnell, Kristen Smith, Alfredo Phillips, Timmy Uchida, Stephanie Al, Nick DeMau, Faces and Bases, David Sutherland, Dark Awok, Roger Nilsson, Tasted, Oscar Jonathan Thornberg, Dan Mako, Chris Talios, Jamie Milligan, Kevin Mian, Darcy Farrar, Chris Fivey, Samuel, Natius Maximus, Arundel, Gareth Smith, Joseph Buchanan, Mark Jarvis, Joe Simpson, Charles Armintas, G Force, Dr. V, Renard Lindemann, Kieran Murthal, and Kevin Sulas. As for me, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.